We're back here at 843 TV with Bill and Neil and sharing about all the projects happening here in Beaufort. Neil, we've been talking about Boundary Street in the last segment, so let's talk about another area in downtown area, the marina. Tell us what's happening to improve that area. There, there's a tremendous amount of excitement down there in the marina. And of course, you know, Beaufort, the city of Beaufort, Beaufort County, this is our this salt is life culture. Ab absolutely, it's my favorite, I can tell you that. You know, our water, <laughs> our water life, this mm -hmm. is, it is the linkage to our, our culture, to our, our lifestyle. So we've had some tremendous improvements uh, down there in the uh, at waterfront park, specifically the marina. We've had the transient dock built, we've had the H dock uh, torn down and then rebuilt, and then we've had the dinghy dock uh, yeah, repaired. Tremendous amount of work, about a million dollars, uh, give or take, on the uh, improvements down in the marina, but this is again enhancing mm -hmm. the capacity for us to go ahead and, and, and uh, pay homage to our salt life culture. Well, will this be, how will that affect the summer water festival that happens every year. This is going to again provide a lot of capacity down there at Waterfront Park. Uh, of course you know there is uh, the H dock uh, was put over the edge if you will uh, with <laughs> Matthew. Mm -hmm. So there, uh, the H dock was an aging uh, facility, aging structure required some work. Matthew of course pushed it over the edge and then we worked with the uh, local contractor uh, O'Quinn Marine Construction, and they did a fantastic job demolishing the old structure and then rebuilding uh, the H dock uh, on time, on budget, and getting that thing, uh, the, the facilities ready for us by the time the water festival hit. And I'm assuming also a dock that would probably withstand, unfortunately, another hurricane should it come. So we inspected <laughs> literally every single screw. Mm. on that on that uh, dock there and that thing is sound that, not going anywhere <laughs> that thing is you know god willing uh that 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 uh that dock is going to be with us for the next you know 25 years or so and i would add to that too that there's no construction during this whole summer we have to plan the construction in the winter months when the boats aren't coming in or there's festivals and for example sure. this coming weekend is our dragon boat fest festival which will be very large and the first time in june so the activities, the water, the water fest, all of those things are scheduled and everything's in ship shape condition for them. Better than it's been in the last five years. Great. Another large project that opened not long ago over in Ladies Island was the new Walmart. I understand that's created some traffic congestion that you typically would expect with Walmart and, and big projects. Can you share a, l a little about what's being done to help alleviate that? Yeah, and I guess I'll start with your comment that you just made and that's been an assumption of a lot of people. And if you read the paper for the last years or read the news, I shouldn't just say the paper, uh, Walmart was going to be creating all this traffic. Mm -hmm. But the problem is there's three or four hundred new homes that seem to be going to Walmart that are really is where the traffic's coming from. And I can tell you factually, because I talked to our police chief just yesterday, since Walmart's open, which is just about a month now, we've had zero traffic issues. Zero. And everybody was saying this is going to be a huge traffic problem. There is not any more of a traffic than the typical people going out to Fripp Island or whatever for the summer. And in addition, we're pleasantly surprised. I believe as of yesterday, we only had a few calls for shoplifting. Hmm. So the Walmart of all of the negatives that have come, that were coming when Walmart was being built, the facts are none of those are really happening. So yes, it's there's traffic, but the other thing that people missed and was never publicized, there's 300 people working there. I was gonna say, and let's the, remember to point that out. I've yes. been out there mm -hmm. three times, twice for their grand openings, they had an early one, and, and talked to some of the employees. They're thrilled that they can travel seven minutes to work instead of 30 minutes to Hardyville mm -hmm. or whatever other Walmart store they were. So these people, and as our mayor says to them, you know, now you're working close to home. Mm -hmm. You can attend the PTA meetings. You can do things now that you couldn't do before. So there's, like anything, there's the good and the bad, but of all the concern for traffic issues, et cetera, because of Walmart, it, it's factually not happening. That doesn't mean there isn't a traffic problem and concern on Ladies Island, particularly at the intersection. 
but it's not just because of right. Walmart. And certainly a lesser concern above those positives that you mentioned. You can work close to home, you can have more family time, and at the end of the day, that's really what's most important mm -hmm. and what matters. And, exactly. And so let's talk about the infrastructure projects that are due to happen. How are you planning on keeping the city safe and economically thriving and, and the beauty that we have here, keeping that in line? Well, unfortunately, one of our biggest issues is the geographic location we're in. It's called the Low Country. Mm -hmm. And the fact that things like Hurricane, the fact in, I, I think it's the next few days, we're going to have king tides. Mm -hmm. We're going to have flooding. So we know that our stormwater issues, many of them go back 40, 50 years in various neighborhoods, have to be addressed. And we know that we're talking millions of dollars that has to be spent on improving stormwater and our, our management of stormwater. The other issue is constant cooperation that we have to have between the state, the county, and the city in many of these areas. Probably, and I'm giving you an estimate, 75 to 85 percent of our roads are state roads. But the state has no money to fix the stormwater. So we have to fix the stormwater. I mean, sure, we're going to have potholes and we're going to have a few things that have to be done, but stormwater management and the conditions of stormwater is going to be our real long-term project that we have to start addressing. So building a better Beaufort. We look forward to seeing all that happen in the future. And thank you all for watching today's episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak.